Uh, so you're saying, okay, fine, I understand, no problem. Uh, I'm not worried though. Well, you should be worried because you don't know when you're gonna get a client. You don't know if he's a criminal or not. He may look normal, but nobody knows. And the penalties or the risk are very, very high. If I quickly mention the offenses here that you may face as an accountant. There are three types. First is having contact. So you simply having contact with that dirty money, even if you don't know, deliberate or accidental, even if you don't know, you will be uh, going to jail. It's still your fault. So even if you don't know, simply by in, in contact with that dirty money. Number two, failing to report about it. So when you know, oh, it's dirty money, but you do not report any suspicions, or you suspicious, right? You, you're not sure to police, basically, to tell the authorities. If you didn't report it, you will go to jail. And the last one is called tipping off. This is when you tell your client uh, the police is watching you, so hide it, that you're tipping off your customer to tell him to hide it better. You will go to jail too. So the solution, what you should do is called customer due diligence. And that is essentially a process you may have seen before through KYC, know your customer, where you take a lot of details from a customer. You take a copy of his passport, his name, his address, uh, and you try to learn where did his money come from? How did he earn his money? And you make a case and you build a case. And for every new customer, as an accountant, you have to do this customer due diligence process. And that is part of the anti-money laundering rules of the, the banking, international banking uh, institutions. Okay.